Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here today. I thought I would just bring you along for a little day in the life. This actually turned out to be like two days in the life because I totally got sidetracked and never finished it on Sunday. But I've told you guys before, I love to come downstairs before Bunky wakes up and just have a cup of coffee and cuddle with Miss Daisy. It's kind of like my little me time. And I got this new little gadget off of Amazon. It's like a milk frother. And so it kind of makes your coffee more like a latte it was so yummy and i love it i think it was like less than ten dollars so um, i will link it below for you guys if you're interested but then after i had my coffee i just made like a little breakfast kind of like a scrambled egg bowl with sausage and hash browns it was really good and then i just did a little cleaning All right, y'all, so I'm about to leave the house right now. I have a few errands to run. Bunky is like full on watching football, so I was like, I'm gonna leave you be and I'm gonna go run a few errands. I wanna try and get my nails done, but it's Sunday and they're usually really busy on Sunday, so we'll see if I get to get them done or not, depending on how long I have to wait. And then I wanna go to Bath and Body Works because they're having a really good sale on candles. So I wanna pick up a few of those for fall. And then I need to go to the grocery store as well. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us for the day. And when we get home, I'll show you guys like my little grocery haul what candles I got and then we'll check on Bunky as well so let's go ahead and get going Y'all, I don't even know where this vlog left off. Yesterday just like got away from me and I never ended up going to the grocery store. I did run into Bath and Body Works, so I thought I would show y'all what candles I got. Um, I got one that I've never actually picked up before or smelled before, so I wonder if it's new this year. Y'all have to let me know, but okay. So the first candle that I got is the Leaves Candle and this is one of my all-time favorites. I always get tons of wallflowers of this scent because this to me just like embodies fall. I absolutely love it. It's like apple, cinnamony, like just complete goodness. I'll read you guys what the description is. It says crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice with essential oils. Oh my gosh, it is like one of my favorites. And I love this little design on this one. I thought it was so cute. So I got this one. And then this is the one that I've never seen before. And you guys tell me if I just have like overlooked it in all the past years, but it is called Harvest Gathering. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love that they're doing all of these different designs on the actual candle. I think they're so cute. And this one like made me feel like Thanksgiving kind of. I don't know. I thought it was really pretty for fall. And I'll read you what the scent is. So this is fresh picked apples, autumn berries, clove buds, and essential oils. They kind of smell the same, but this one's a little bit more sweet. Um, oh my gosh, but I love it. So I cannot wait to burn this candle. So I picked up those yesterday. Like I said, I never went to the grocery store. So Bunky just got home from work. We're about to head to the grocery store. When I get back, I'll show you guys what I got. And then we're gonna cook some dinner. I think we're gonna have some chicken fajitas. So I'm really excited about that. And then just kind of hang out and chill and relax for the night. So let's go ahead and get to the grocery store. Okay, so we are home from the grocery store and I'm gonna give you guys our little haul. I picked up some tater tots and then we got some cheddar cheese and Mexican cheese. 
We also got a package of hamburger meat. I think we're gonna make burgers one night this week. I got some limes here, some broccoli, a cucumber, and some spinach. This is like for my smoothies. And then you guys know Bunky likes his like weird drinks, so he got this kombucha drink. And then he also picked up an orange Gatorade. I, of course, got one of my iced coffees. We were completely out of orange juice, so I picked up one of those. And then you guys know I'm obsessed with this. I think it's the third one in a row that I've bought. It is so good. I just cannot explain how amazing it is. So I picked up another Cinnabon creamer. And then we got some Rotel. Also picked up this three cheese pasta sauce. And then these we've never had before. I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna take them to lunch and see if they like heat up in the microwave okay. Bunky wants to put his in the um, oven, of course. But I don't have an oven at work. So I thought it'd be good just to have like as an easy lunch. I think it takes like three or four minutes to heat up. So we'll see how those go. But they're just mini personal pan deep dish pizzas. So we picked up those as well. And then I got some rice pilaf. We picked up the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Those are so good. I love them so much. So, um, and they were like on a really good sale. So I picked up those. And then I got some of this cheese tortellini because you guys already know I love my pasta salad. And so I'm gonna make some more of that. And then of course I got like my favorite wine, the Robert Mondavi. And I think this is last but not least, I got some um, pork skins. That are salt and vinegar flavored. Y'all, they are so good. They always buy one, get one free. So I got two bags of those. I don't know if I told you about the fettuccine, but got that too. And I think that is everything. So not too All bad. Right, so we are going to have chicken fajitas tonight for dinner. You guys know we are obsessed with this. We have it like at least once a week. I know this doesn't look appetizing, but we had some chicken that we had frozen and then we let it dethaw overnight. And we just added some fajita seasoning, hot sauce, and lime juice. So that's been kind of marinating. And then we just have all of our toppings. We have some hot sauce, some tomatillo. Is that you say it, Monkey? Tomatillo? Tomatillo salsa, some sour cream, our fajitas, cheese. And then these are just like some frozen um, like bell peppers that I'm going to heat up for our Bunky. I'm also going to have some shredded lettuce with mine. What else? Oh, do you eat jalapenos with yours? Yeah. Okay, so I have a few more things out, but that is what we are cooking for dinner tonight. I'll ignore our house because it's like a total mess, but I thought I'd show you this deal of a lifetime. My mom went into Lowe's the other day and they had all of their like chandeliers and different like pendant lights for like 75 or 80 percent off. Um, so we got three of them. This thing is massive, it's so big. It by itself, I think was like originally $180 and it was like 40. And then this one I think was like 25 or 30. And I think that one was 25. So hopefully I can convince Bunky to hang them for me. <laughs> Are you an electrician? I'm definitely not an electrician. Are you gonna be able to do it? I'm gonna be able to do it. As long as it's like hanging a ceiling fan. Oh, Lord, Bunky. <laughs> the people have spoken. Yep. They do not think that was one cup of mayo. Um, they know it, just like me. No. I think the camera angle was misleading people. No, I was here in person. It was at least three-fourths of a cup. But it was half a cup. No, nah, it was like three-fourths of a cup. Trust. No, we don't <laughs> trust you. It was. We just finished dinner and it was so good and we went ahead and cleaned the kitchen and then this time of night I kind of like to just like settle in for the night get cozy light my candles put on my PJs wash my face all that good stuff and especially on Monday nights because Bunky is watching football so I kind of have the night to myself which I really enjoy sometimes so I thought I would take my makeup off with y'all on camera so I can kind of show you what I use and just like chit chat and hang out with y'all I love to spend this time either like responding back to your like comments and messages or 
or catching up on YouTube videos that I love and want to see or I'll just like straight up chill and watch Netflix and not do any work at all even though it's not really work talking to you guys because I absolutely love it um but you guys know what I'm trying to say so anyways I thought I would go ahead and start with like removing all my mascara and eye makeup I didn't really wear too much today so it's kind of minimal um but I am obsessed with these little cotton rounds. You can get them at Target. I think they're like a dollar, a dollar fifty. I go through so many packages of these. Um, I probably use like realistically six or seven a day. <laughs> that sounds crazy. And how many times can I say um? And then to take off my eye makeup and mascara, I love the Sephora Collection Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. It is absolutely incredible. Um, it literally like takes everything away. It dissolves all eye makeup. Um, and so I just shake it up and then I just put a little here on my pad, my cotton round. And then sometimes because it's kind of a lot on this one, I'll take this one and just smash them together. And I take it and I just start wiping. Sorry if I look scary. And also I have a mirror behind you so that is why I keep looking over there. Um, so I went to Walmart today because I needed to finish doing a little shopping for my haul that I'm filming this week and y'all I just like have to keep telling myself to chill on the whole Christmas thing because I am obsessed so bad and I've already been listening to Christmas Carol since like probably late June early July like religiously listening to them every single day and sometimes by the time Christmas gets here I've like gotten myself sick of it but I love it so much. So anyways, Walmart had the cutest Christmas stuff. And yes, I did buy a few things for Christmas. So you'll see that in my haul later this week. But I just can't help myself. It's just like so magical. That's what I love about Christmas. Like it's such a like heartwarming, joyous time of year. I don't know, y'all. I'm obsessed. But anyways, um, and I've been like Pinteresting every single night. Is that even a word? Pinteresting? And um, trying to like get ideas for how I want to decorate my Christmas trees for this year. I guess I said trees because of course plural um but I have so many cute ideas my problem is is that I can't stick to one theme I love like 10 different themes sorry if I look really crazy um so anyways I'm gonna have to like narrow it down to what I want to do but I'm so stinking excited and if it would ever cool off here which I think hopefully next week it's going to I really want to go to the mountains and pick apples I know I've told you guys before that's like one of my favorite things to do this time of year and it has just been so hot that there's like no way in heck I'm going to do it so hopefully I can go do that in a few weeks and then we're also going to um go to a pumpkin patch we do that every single year with our friends and then after that we go to like a um I guess it's like a cider mill it's an apple orchard but it's around here and um we get cider and like apple donuts and they have like a banjo band it is so much fun like epitome of what you think of for fall it is amazing so i'm so excited for that sorry my nose keeps itching um okay let me get my face wipe. okay so i've got my little face wipe and i just literally go in and start taking off my makeup i have a little zit on my nose y'all can probably see it um but usually this time of year and especially in the winter i get breakouts all around my nose area I think because my nose just runs a lot but speaking of like replying to all of y'all's comments and messages you have no idea like just how much joy you bring to my life every day like when I read the things that you guys say to me, it like literally brings me to tears sometimes because y'all are so sweet and so kind to me and you just have no idea like what a blessing you are to my life. So thank you guys for everyone who always leaves me the nicest things. You guys like rock my world, seriously. I am just so blown away by this entire community and who would have ever thought like it is just the coolest thing ever. I feel like I'm like really best friends with all of you. So it's so cool. Okay, so now that I've gotten my face wiped down, I'm going to take another little cotton round. And then you guys know I'm like obsessed with The Ordinary. And I use their toner day and night because it's the best thing ever. I will link it below, but you guys have heard me talk about it a thousand times. Um, but it is like awesome at balancing like the pH of your skin. So it helps it to just feel more like normal versus too oily or dry. And it gently dissolves any dead skin. So it helps to kind of like exfoliate, but very gently. Um, it's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. 
so I just wipe all that over and it'll kind of take off anything that was like left over that the makeup wipe didn't get. I just use both sides of my little cotton round and then once that's finished I go in with my ordinary hyaluronic acid you guys know I am obsessed with this stuff it is so incredible it's so hydrating it doesn't leave like a film or sticky residue on your skin it just like seeps right in so I just take my little dropper put it in my hand and then I rub it and basically just press it into my skin and that way it penetrates deeper and really gives you like great hydration and hyaluronic acid can like retain like 70 times its weight in water so when you put a moisturizer on top of it it really helps to like pump up your skin and keep it extra hydrated and then at nighttime I go in with my it cosmetics bye bye under eye cream I am in love with this stuff this is just like a little sample size but it has lasted forever all you do is take like a pea size amount I don't even know if you can see that and then I just tap my two ring fingers together and then I tap it under my eyes and sometimes I bring it up here too and then lastly I'm going in with my first aid beauty ultra repair cream I've talked about this a million times too I absolutely love it um, but that is my last step and then I am done with my makeup with my makeup with my skincare for the night Y'all, I have so much fun content planned for you for just like all of the next few months. I cannot wait. I'm so excited for you guys to see all of it. I love hearing your ideas. I love knowing what you guys want to see more of. I know all of you love cooking videos. So of course I have tons of that for you, but also just so many other fun stuff. So I'm so excited. This is just like the best time of year. I feel like there's like all kinds of like parties and just hay rides and just all kinds of fun things to do i never really go to like a haunted house but i kind of want to go to one this year i don't know i want adventurous okay now that i have my skincare done i'm gonna take off my earrings by the way i get so many um messages about doing like an accessories video and so i will do one if you guys really want to see it but like most of my accessories come from kendra scott i am just obsessed with her jewelry so like all of my earrings my rings most of my necklaces all can just go I love it um I think I'm gonna make me some tea I think I'm gonna go make some tea tonight I have been loving my teamy relaxed tea whenever I have like nights to just chill and do nothing I love pouring a cup of that and just like sitting on the couch I don't know especially this time of year there is just nothing more cozy to me than like lighting all of my fall candles having a cup of tea and just like watching Netflix or like Christmas movies <laughs> but it is just my favorite thing ever and I have like really loved my relaxed tea from Timmy. I do like feel such a difference whenever I drink it. Love it. So I have a code for you guys. It's JOD15. I will leave it down below in the description box if you would like to try it but I'm going to take you guys over there show you how easy it is. They give you the cutest cup ever so I'm going to make some tea and then I'm going to call it a night. So all I do to make my tea is boil some water. I do not have a tea kettle, so I put mine in the microwave in my measuring cup for about two minutes. And then I take about two tablespoons of my mixture, put it into my cup, and then fill it up with my hot water. And then you'll see here in a second, they kind of have like this little sifter you just pop in the top and then add your lid and that's it. So simple and so cozy. And now it's time to go and relax and enjoy my evening. I found my friend Mackenzie's new video and I couldn't wait to watch it. So that is what I'm doing tonight. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry it's so random. If you're still watching, then you guys are a trooper. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give this one a thumbs up. Bye y'all.